Adam, thank you. So where is Oakley Carlson? That question has hung over the people of Grays Harbor for the last 12 months. And today marks one year since police began searching for the five-year-old girl and still no answers. John Hopperstad in Oakville this morning and just spoke with Oakley's former foster mother who is planning another fundraiser there later this week. John? Yeah, Bill, she's really been spearheading the efforts to try to find Oakley or at least try to find out what happened to her. And later this week at the Festival of Lights event happening here in Oakville, she will be fundraising yet again and trying to shine some light on this case. It was one year ago today when sheriff's deputies went and did a welfare check for uh, Oakley and found she was missing. Since then, her biological parents have not cooperated with investigators, making the search for her even more challenging. Some troubling details from detectives during interviews with the couple's other children. Oakley's six-year-old sister saying her mother told her not to talk about Oakley and that, quote, she had gone out into the woods and had been eaten by wolves. Now, Oakley's former foster mother says she's still looking for answers. It is so incredibly frustrating. Um, luckily, like, I know that when I talk to the detectives, like they are still working so diligently on this case. Um, I check in, they check in with me. Um, I, I met with one last week. It's just kind of like, um, I think a lot of the public doesn't see that they are constantly getting tips and they're constantly working on uh, on this, but it's, uh, it is happening. Um, and I hope that we'll have some kind of resolution soon. Now, both parents have been convicted of child endangerment involving one of their other kids. In fact, the mother is still in prison right now, but there is now more than $85,000 in rewards for anyone who can help shine some light on what happened to Oakley. And again, they're going to have an event here on Friday night to shine that light even more. We're live in Oakville. John Opperstead, Fox 13 News.